moving forward as a country, we need to appreciate and accept the fact that the women of this country will no longer play a peripheral role in social development of Kenya. The woman must be at the orthocenter of each and every initiative in this country. At the auto center, the woman will no longer play a peripheral role. So we are starting from Nyanza, it is already happening everywhere. We must appreciate the fact that the woman will no longer be in the periphery. And I'm very happy that in Nyanza, this is happening. The development priorities of Nyanza are well known. The fishing opportunities within the blue economy. In agriculture, we have got the sugar cane. We have got the bamboo in Kisi, tea and coffee in Kisi. Emerging frontiers like mining, those development opportunities are known. And they are available in our development uh, blueprints. If you look at the Lake Region, Lake Basin Development Authority Master Plan, all the development opportunities of Nyanza are there. You look at the Lake Region Economic Block Strategic Plan, the development opportunities of Nyanza are there. It is now time to move away from planning to implementation. So the involvement of these professional women is just but a step in that right direction. Perhaps the beginning of that. Moving forward, working with my brother here, Ezekiel, and all the leaders in Nyanza, all the governors, and all the integral stakeholder segments, we are going to ensure that we integrate, involve, inculcate all the integral stakeholder segments within Nyanza in the development agenda. The government can only do so much. There is quite a bit that we can also do from our own perspectives, informed by the skills, expertise, and competencies that we espouse within our various professional disciplines to also contribute towards that socio-economic development agenda. What the involvement of these women in the development of Nyanza espouses is that Nyanza is ready for change. Nyanza is ready for change. And if Nyanza is ready for change, we must also be ready and willing to do certain things differently. And this also calls for transformational leadership. Transformational leadership from all of us at our own levels and in our individual capacities. Let us adapt a paradigm shift so that Nyanza can rise again. It is a testament to the fact that at long last, the women of Nyanza have decided to lead from the front by taking part in our economic development space. Historically, since independence, this has never happened in Nyanza because we have built almost everything around politics. The lesson that we learn from this occasion, good people, is that it is important and it is possible, in fact, it is inevitable, that we can also give back to the common Mwanainji away from politics through socioeconomic development interventions by getting everybody on board. So this is a paradigm shift. It is part and parcel of the process, a journey that we have embarked on to bring all stakeholders on board in Nyanza to contribute towards development of that region. Our history is awash with examples of very many professionals in various disciplines who have kept off development initiatives in our region because of excessive politics. Politics is good, but it can only enable us to do so much. We need to close the gap by bringing all stakeholders on board so that we can facilitate tangible development in that region. And in this regard, I want to sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, congratulate the Professional Association of Nyanza Women for being critical agents of this change. <laughs> Let me assure you that all of us in this room, all the stakeholders in this room, are committed to supporting you. 
and the mere presence of both the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya and the spouse to the deputy president is testimony to the level of commitment by the Kenya Kwanzaa government, not just towards women empowerment, but also development of the Nyanza region, for that matter.